All right, so on this episode of Tentacle Car, we thought we'd do something a little bit different. So we're going to watch the first episode of the Super Mario Super Show and proceed to take a shit all over it. I mean, admire it admiringly. We actually grew up on the show, uh, most of us, and remember bits of it or have tried desperately to forget. <laughs> and so we're going to relive it today for your enjoyment and our punishment. It's amazing the things that were once passable when you were young and naive no longer seem the same way in your adult years of life. Come with us as we take a journey back in time to the Super Mario Brothers Super Show. Hey, Paisanos, it's the Super Mario Brothers Super Show! Hugh 80-era's rap. Hugh trademark. We almost fell. Don't worry, folks, there's no black people in this show, but they can still write our intro songs. Little known fact, Ice T actually wrote this. Oh. Before he was solving murders and sex crimes? Yes. In the criminal justice system? Ding ding! Being hooked on the brothers is a serious addiction problem. Ooh, kids. Just say no to drugs. Say no. Another staple of the 80s say no to drugs. <laughs> Mario taught me that eating mushrooms is okay, though. Yes. Q Sweet 80s Dissolve. By trademark. Uh, idyllic 1980s Brooklyn, where everything is drawn by hand. Yes, Mario. Yes, we know. But as we always say, meat just counts. That's not what you always say, Mario. What a messy eater. You smell. This language is far too nice for an Italian household. <laughs> Mario doesn't understand pitch variation. Please tell me you hear that voice too. Ta -da! Nicole Lager, what are you doing in our wall? Why? Has anyone ever actually let toothpaste expire? How did she get in our house? No, no, we yeah, didn't totally. write that. We didn't write that at all. If it's brown, flush it down. <laughs> I hope you brought something we can practice on. I always check my plumbing before my parties. How convenient we just have to have a sink here for us to demonstrate on. Mario, I don't want to do it. You do it. It's time for a 360 no scope plumber. All right, all right, Mario, you got to commit to something here. Either give her a hug, give her a handshake, or you need to step away. And, and abort, abort, abort. Notice the up sound effect that keeps happening here. This could possibly never go wrong. Three, two, one. Fire. There's the money shot. And money shot. Well, those Mario boys just done goofed. Like our motto says, the customer was always wet. No, I don't think your motto ever said that. It's a different line of work. Hugh, second introduction to our TV show. It fits that Luigi is the creepy one, considering he's tugging Mario down with him in the drain. I have a hard time believing that is structurally popular. Possible. Sega lawsuit. Sonic ripoff. And Koopa commits suicide. And the ground is gone. Apparently where they come from, plumbers are serious warriors. Serious business. Apparently it's the word, ladies and gentlemen. Is it now? Again. And we're looking for the magic that was in Irving Debris and get us home to 
Oh, it must be Tuesday, 2 o'clock. Yep. Gender ambiguous Birdo, away! So I don't think they're ever going to call Birdo's gender into question here, but they're sure as hell calling Birdo, calling Birdo's sight and, uh... Fuck. Sight and fuck. The sight and fuck. Toad is from the Jersey Shore of Mushroom Kingdom. And is also possibly around. Jewish. Mazel tov. Man, Toad Stool is buff. She works out. <laughs> Which one's that? Extreme close up! You must not be good at counting, Peach. In the mountains. Spaghetti and meatballs. No way the food puns are becoming a, an opposite thing in this episode, or this show. I want to know what allergy panel Luigi took to find that allergy. Whoa! Extreme flying! Trampoline crib? Who just land? I mean, that was totally uncalled for. Given the structural integrity of this house, I question Berto's decision to plot. I don't know what sort of lifesavers Berto was eating before this, but he needs to spit that shit out. Or had one hell of a glass of milk. Yes, folks, we could take this joke in an entirely different direction, but for now, we choose not to. <laughs> Upside down phone. Hi, right, this is Child Protective Services. We need to talk to you about your... Yeah, we, we've taken your, your child because uh, your, your house just is not safe. It's alright, though, because her phone is off the hook. It rings true. Still better service than AT&T. This would be so much easier if Toad had knees. Listen, lady, I'm 30 years old. I have a condition. I do look forward to the day I have a child that can chase it around the home in laps. While crying for kissums. Indeed, the only way. I hope nothing goes bad like the... Oh, never mind. I guess exactly. remember this level from the game? Yep, you just have to spin dash to... Oh. If only we had some sort of mechanic that our entire game was built around. Like, jumping. When it's brown, flush it down. If it's yellow, let it mellow. Uh, Ironic. Well, my pipe is plunged. Ah, fuck. You know, I find whenever I'm having a bad day, all I have to do is yell, pause for power, and instantaneously everything is better. Really? I'm usually offended. Pasta makes me feel heavier, so I wouldn't jump over any large gaps with it. Man, I sure do hope we don't see this cliff again. I mean, they sure have used it a lot. They could never use that cliff shot again. Why would they do that? It's not, cause, it's not like this is a pilot episode or anything. Sure isn't. Quality television product. Snowball Mafia. So you can tell these are the bad guys because they're using alliteration. They're gonna put the good guys on ice. Meanwhile, in the Fortress of Solitude, this castle brought to you by MC Escher. Not enough tessellation. And again, we have to call into the structural integrity of the situation because his, his throne is sitting on a plate of ice that's held up by two stalactites. If someone breathes fire, that's a ballsy decision. Must be salty. Oh, okay, you, you can stop now. Don't worry, folks, I'll know where Zordon's call for right now. 
Chode's first use of ventriloquism. So he's actually an expert at throwing his voice. God, you complain a lot. Toad. Oh, God, spit out the lifesaver already. We're having problems. The real cheapy is actually the production assistant on the show. Remember that character from the video game? Oh, bird. Yes. And we see the true relationship between Luigi and Princess Toadstool. It's okay. Upskirts are legal now. It's warm in there. I have the same feeling. We're going in circles. Haven't we seen this clip before? Luigi, it could be worse. Worse? How could it be worse? I definitely think Roid Raging Bomb is worse. You like even lift, bro? I don't know what salami sound effect. He just bitch slapped up the bomb. So I'm wondering what salami has to do with any of this. Hey, he's hungry. A squadroom. I think that's kind of profile. We have yet to know if these are. Or they have no way of knowing those are King Koopa's uh, bombers. These are large explosions for small craters. We are a suicide bomb, and we're here to make avalanches and stuff. Hey, Luigi! What is that? Man, I hope they find a door that, re that they can reach right before the avalanche. I know, man. They're, they're dead unless they can find some sort of convenient escape route. We've gotten ourselves in a real mess. Stay tuned. Sound effects. While Mario finds something else to ruin the clothes flow, watch this. I think a few things to ruin their clothes. The green door, the only open oh. by the green plumber. Oh, man. Oh, no, the avalanche. Cool. That much. It's a good thing Mario is good at playing Portal. Peach has been holding that for so long. And Sploosh. Finally a spot to relieve herself. Ignore the yellow spot, guys. And Toad's second use of ventriloquism. I call on to question Bruno's parenting abilities right now. Fight or flight. No, Little known fact, Princess Toto and Popeye are closely related. That's what she calls out power plants. First spinach, now fire flowers. By the fire flowers, she always just punch a hole in the wall. Remember those awesome quick time events from the video game where you had to do pasta power dances? Wow, that thing is like just as tall as Mario. I love when that happens. Normally when I get pasta power like this, the fire comes from another place. That was not nearly as effective as I was hoping it was going to be. You notice how that speech had all negative words? That obviously means that this is for the bad guys. Check out that bling. What? What's some of that rhyming? Oh, oh. that was a took my swag. I'd pay two hundred bucks for a nice pepperoni cheesecake right now. Mario, I don't think it costs that much. Mario has no concept of relative value. Hey, look what I just found: pepperoni cheesecake. What is that thing? It's dead. It's still dead. Can we eat it? Hadouken! <laughs> Welcome to the real world, kid. How does, how does he know it's 30,000 feet? Does he have some sort of tool or device to let him know what his height is? Uh, that's what the glasses are for. Oh. Birdo has a built-in altimeter. Oh, Toad, we did not know you long enough. Parachute? Ow? Oh. And his brain is exposed. Where did he get the wood for that fire? Probably fell from Birdo's house. Ah. 
And the fire is gone. Magic hat. Magic skull cap. And we look nothing alike each other. How could you mistake, mistake us for each other? So it already has Stockholm Syndrome, and it's barely been a day. Wow, this kid is so needy. Toad, Toad, can you get in the shot, please? Apparently Toad has to put himself in a timeout. Kid, we all have our problems, all right? Look at it this way. You got a sweet-ass scarf. Uphill ski? Okay. Running uphill? Okay. Skiing uphill? Physics, bro? This game Rupting, burning finger! There goes Mario's PowerPoint. Conveniently placed holes are convenient. Look at Mario going gangster style. I shoot at the side, son. I'm a jihad! And that bob -bomb actually did some damage, so he actually gets the 42 versions of heaven. They got us surrendered, ladies and gentlemen. Cloudy with a chance of turnups. Toad's up there causing a doki doki panic. I hate turnips! We have explosive ordnance. They have vegetables. Retreat! Mario Brothers Super Show taught me that you're not supposed to eat your vegetables. Damn yeah, right. You know, ladies and gentlemen, if we can just take a serious moment here, these guys are in a subarctic environment where it's impossible to grow food or have any sort of trees in this area. So there's probably some village that could desperately use this food, and yet they are using it to repel snowmen and turtles. The more you know. Mmm, dinner? Sounds great. Are we gonna have turnips? You're gonna feed me now? Oh, that changes my whole disposition of the situation. We? We are legion. We are many. We are worm. You know, for a worm that was about to be food, he's very indignant. Are you pissed that you were mistaken for spaghetti, or...? It's just that you're so attractive, and it's been so long. Oh, no, 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 that's the cake chair. Don't, you don't sit on the cake chair. I mean, come on. She's, how rude can you be? That's clearly for cake. Clearly. I'm just going to set it over here on the floor. It's 420 in the Mario household. How can I even see things if my eyes aren't real? Hot box. But then he gets really hungry. That's why we keep the cake right there. Oh no, that cake I just set on the floor. Oh, poor Shell is heartbroken. Oh, she just totally sprained her ankle in that, in that cake. Now she has to limp. <laughs> Some nice kicks, though. Sweet high tops. Cake makes me limp. Oh, oh, oh no, the pizza. Who saw that coming? Oh, Why'd no. you sit her in the pizza chair, Luigi? And the trash. I get it. They're not plumbers, they're hobos. Oh, that makes sense. Nine out of ten, we're still bang. What are you looking for? Sound effects, ladies and gentlemen. Transition. Legend of the Zelda. Next time on Tentacle Car. Maybe. Perhaps. That's actually a green triangle. Zelda's from Tennessee. That's a red triangle. In case you guys didn't know, the Triforce of Courage didn't have enough courage to show up in this piece of shit. It's self-respect and top billing. The Triforce of Wisdom, however, was not wise enough. That was my favorite face. Hey, he's breaking with all my rupees. So Link learned that trick. Teleport to the horse! <laughs> Boneheads. Toasty! 
Get Ed Boon. And Magic Escape. Pew pew. Laser knife. I'm gonna fire him the lasers. You know, Ezio, no one had a problem with Ezio having a gun inside Assassin's Creed 2, but at least Sword basically has the exact same thing and no one really cared. When we test it, jumping into water after shooting it breaks your fall. Hey, it's Navi. Myth busting. Good job, hero. Hey, excuse me, princess. That could never be a catchphrase. No. Shit, Friday. Friday. Probably not this Friday. <laughs> Don't worry about oh, it. Oh, please, Nicole, we'll do all your plugging for free. No. No. It's okay. No. 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 Why? Yeah, remember I was telling you I was going to a party? Uh -huh. Well, it's a sloppy party. So oh, oh, it all makes sense now. Yay! Let's rub cake on this inappropriate girl. You know, it, it, considering that this is a young, attractive girl in a, a dark area with a couple of plumbers, this could have ended a lot differently for a sloppy party. She took that cake right to her chest, though, like a pro. Like a pro. Sloppy Mario Brothers. That's a different show altogether. No, I'm not doing the Mario. I'm doing the Mario. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the only reason anyone ever watched this show. Lou Albano is actually a Diablo 3 elite with teleporter. Yeah, I got it. Now watch, watch him here in a second, guys. He has to break the immersion when he steps backwards into the plane. It's clearly not possible. Right about here. I mean, come on. Ow, cactus. Yeah, that's the game. I mean, they're just not even trying at this point. Nails that landing. I give it a 10. Destroyers of innocent children. 